BIOS.IN Hey guys, a warm greetings to all the binary addons. In this video, we will introduce you to Stack Overflow. Before watching the series of video, I would like you to go through all these topics and have a very good understanding on these topics. Make sure you have a clear understanding on how the stack works. Introduction Binary exploitation works on the principle of turning a weakness into an advantage. It involves taking advantage of a bug or a vulnerability in order to cause unintended or unanticipated behavior in the program. To get started, you need to know how the process memory is organized and how the stack is framed. Memory allocated for processes are mainly divided into three segments, the tech segment, data segment and stack segment. The te tech segment contains your actual code. The data segment is divided into three segments, data, BSS and heap. The BSS segment stores all the uninitialized data and data segment stores the global variables. In every function, the first set of instruction is the function prolog. What it basically does is, 1. It pushes the current base pointer onto the stack so it can be restored later. Second, assigns the value of the stack pointer to base pointer so that a new stack frame will be created on top of the old stack frame. Third, creates a stack frame for the new function of size n as mentioned in the figure. Function epilog reverses the action of the function prolog and returns control to the calling function. Basically what it does have is two instruction, that is leave instruction and read instruction. The leave instruction is basically move ESP to EVP and pop EBP. It helps in dropping the stack pointer to the current base pointer, so room reserved in the prolog for local variables is freed and it pops EBP, that is it pops the base pointer of the stack. So, it is restored to its value before the prolog. Consider this simple assembly code. In this code, a stack frame of size 0x10 is created initially for the main and it's done by calling the instruction in main plus 16. When the function called, the address of the next instruction that is move ex, 0x0 in main plus 21 is pushed onto the stack. So after performing the function and when it is done with the leave instruction of the function epilog, the address on the top of the stack is the address of the instruction move ex, 0x0 in main plus 21. So the next instruction of function epilog is writ. Also writ means pop eip. So when the writ instruction is executed, the address at the top of the stack is popped from the stack to eip. As a result, the next instruction would be the one in the main plus 21. This is the basic idea in stack overflow. That is to somehow override the return address so that we can cause an unintended behavior in the program that benefits us. Consider that our primary aim is to get a shell. Also, we are provided with an address that has a shell code. Now what we need to do is that we need to overflow the stack and at the return address you need to overwrite it with that address. So when it encounters a red instruction a shell is opened. This is how you get the control flow. And finally thank you guys for your attention. I hope this short video helps you. If you have any queries or questions feel free to contact us. Thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like and comment if you have any suggestions. Subscribe to the channel for more exciting content. Make sure you follow us on Twitter and Facebook.